What's in the box? Brand new Filmora 15 update! Exactly! And the most beautiful part is none of them require AI credits. So I hope you're as excited as I am. Let's jump right in. The pen tool. With the new pen tool, you can draw and design your custom shapes, which is dope, yes, but not as dope as the stroke path possibilities of it. It's actually insane for motion graphics. Let me show you. You can find it by navigating in the Drawing Tools icon and selecting the pen tool. To use it, simply click to plot points of your shape directly on the preview monitor. But it looks pretty rigid, right? To smooth the path, simply hold left click while you're dragging it and… Aha! So much better. Once you're satisfied with the path in your effect settings, you can apply a various effects on your line, but also play with the glow and a bunch of different visuals that are completely customizable. For example, Radius will make your path thicker or thinner. Zoom Start node will control the thickness of the beginning of your path. Zoom End node will control the thickness of the end of your path. You can also control the feathering, intensity, light density. It's actually insane how much control you have over your visual. You can animate the path by keyframing the start and end path. And the best part, you can even attach any object to the end of your path so it looks like it's leading the line. You can select any object on your timeline, or you can select any of the pre-made options that we provided you by clicking on this drop-down menu. And of course you can create shapes with this tool by simply closing the circle with the plot points. Adjust fill, stroke, whatever you desire. Super cool. As a matter of fact, almost as cool as our next feature, which is animated charts. This feature is your cheat code to motion graphics, an all-in-one way to design data-driven visuals without ever leaving your project. The task that would take you hours of keyframing, analyzing, adjusting, stressing will now take you a few clicks with one hand. No plugins, no external software, just your creativity and our simplified workflow. You will find it under Effects, AI Infographics, Animated Charts. Click on it and the Animated Charts window will pop up. On the left, choose your chart type out of the big variety of templates that we provide. Circular, linear, you name it, we have it all. On the right, you can customize everything. Color palette, grid lines, prefixes and animation style, header, legend, background, label positions and bar shapes, all that and more without a single keyframe or ever leaving a project. Yeah, you can do a lot. Switch to the Data tab to edit your category and value columns. Changes appear in the real time on the right panel. Already have your data ready? Just upload your spreadsheet directly and Filmora automatically converts it into a chart. Once you are done, hit save and add to the timeline. If you want to make changes later, not a problem. Just select your graph clip and hit edit on the clip and that's it. It's literally like a whole different software inside Filmora. Definitely give it a go. Sub project. Okay, I am specially excited about this one. Let's say you did sound design, applied a bunch of different effects on one of your videos, right? And before, you have to do it from the scratch again and again and again, and like, who has time for that? Tell me. Nobody. Thankfully, you do not have to do that anymore, because with the new sub-project import feature, you can directly drag files, effects, sound effects from one project directly into another one. Let me show you how. Click the arrow besides Import to open the drop-down menu. Select Import Sub-Project, then choose your Filmora project file. The project assets can be found in the new project folder that will be automatically created under the project media. All the compound clips within that project will appear instantly in their own tabs, making it easy to jump between them. Need to break one apart? Just right-click on the compound clip and select Detach Compound Clip. And yes, you can import multiple projects into a single timeline. It's a perfect tool for highlight reels, multi-language versions, or simply reusing your best edits without overworking too much. <sighs> you know, I just wish you could take files from one timeline and drop it to the next one, you know, like to have two of them at the same time. That would be great. Wait a second. With Filmora 15, you can. Dual timeline editing, where multitasking actually feels creative. Exactly! Now you can have two timelines side by side so you don't have to jump back and forth like a maniac, okay? First create a compound clip with all the clips you want on one timeline. You will now see the tabs for your main timeline and for the compound clip you just created. From there you can switch between the timelines or view both timelines at the same time by dragging one tab slightly above. From there you can adjust the sizing of the UI and even drag clips from one timeline to another one. It's like having two separate editing desks, all within Filmora. Super dope. 
And that's it. I hope you enjoyed all these features as much as I did. If you have any favorite one, I would love to know which one in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing content on our channel. Keep creating and I will see you on the next one.